Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So earlier I posted on my Instagram because a lot of you were reaching out uh, regarding math, uh, whether they should give a retake or not. And uh, this video is uh, also mainly for students in Pakistan who have been affected by the leak. And now B1 marks have become irrelevant. But the good news is that you can now give a retake free of cost. So that's what we're going to discuss in this video. We're going to break it down as to who should give a retake and what exactly is the cost. Of Yes, it's free, but there is a hidden cost, which we'll find out later on. And uh, yeah, so if uh, if you happen to be contemplating retake, irrespective of whether you're in Pakistan or not, even if let's say you don't have the option of a free reset, then and you're still contemplating a retake, then also this video is for you. Okay, so we'll start with the very first question, and that is why do students feel the need to give a retake? So the idea is basically to get a better grade. Now, the question is that why do they want a better grade? so that they can unlock better opportunities. Now, what are the better opportunities that we're talking about? We're obviously talking about universities. Okay, so first question you need to ask is, you need to first see what universities that you want to apply to. By now, you should have figured out at least, uh, you should have not narrowed down to the specific university, but you should have shortlisted at least four or five universities that you wish to apply to and see what the requirements are. If you've met the requirements or you're you know barely meeting the requirements, that's fine. Make sure that you try and maintain this grade or improve it if th that would be even better you know if you can pull off a miracle if not like for example if you have a grade of c or lower then in that case definitely you should give a retake because if uh, let's say you are studying a level math you're probably doing because it's a requirement of the university that you want to apply to nobody just takes a level math for the fun of it so that means if you've taken a subject you must have a decent grade in it so that you're able to opt for the program that you want to study because like i said it's definitely a requirement and a decent grade would also be a requirement okay so that's the general idea behind taking a retake. Okay, I have my points here so that I don't forget anything. Okay, so another another important question to ask yourself in order to decide whether you should give the retake or not is that let's say if it weren't for assessed grading, if it weren't for assessed grading, would you have really ended up with an A? If the answer to that is yes, then irrespective of what your grade is right now, if it's not an A, then yes, you should definitely give a retake. Why? Because that means you were already well prepared for it and you don't have to put in a lot of effort. You might think that you forgot and everything but you know once you start studying everything will come back you won't have to put an equal amount of effort as you did earlier so if your grade right now is a b or a c but you think that if it weren't for what happened and if your p1 marks were actually considered you would have ended up with an a then definitely you should opt for the free reset okay now if you have let's say ended up with c or a b and you think that you know even if it weren't for assessed grades you would have still ended up with the same result because that's what your level of understanding is as far as math is concerned now, i know it's difficult to sort of judge yourself and put yourself in that place that you know i maximum deserved a b or a c and i can't do better than that so in this case you might think that well it's a free reset option then why not uh, give the retake so the thing is yes it's free but there's a hidden cost okay the hidden cost is basically your time and energy okay so you probably started a2 now and you're obviously studying math and other science subjects or commerce subjects but the thing is it's gotten tough a2 obviously the higher you go the tougher it gets so the cost for you right now is yes there's no monetary cost but you're still paying for your time you're still paying with your energy and you might even end up compromising your a2 grades so if you are let's say on a b right now and you think you know that's the max that you could have done you can't do any better then just be careful what you decide and make sure that you've thought it through okay even if you have a c and you think that c is enough for so and so university that i want to go to and uh, if i let's say end up giving a retake and who knows you might end up improving you might even end up getting the same result but what you will end up doing on the side is you'll end up compromising other subjects and students who are in a2 right now i've spoken to a couple of students they want to give the retake also and then they have to study for a2 and then there's also sat preparation that they want to do on the side okay so if you think you can juggle between these three things without compromising the other two 
then that's great. If not, then you know, just make sure you think this through, speak to your teacher, speak to your family, speak to whoever has been a part of this journey. So, you know, they'll probably know your strengths and weaknesses. They'll probably know how well you can manage your time. So whatever you decide, make sure that you keep this hidden cost in mind because you don't want to just for the sake of improving one grade end up compromising three other subjects. Okay, that's not a, that's a horrible bargain. So just think this through and uh, don't just look at the free aspect. Yes, it's free. I don't have to pay anything. You are still paying with your energy, with your time. And you know, these uh, energy, yes, you can get it back. But the time that you spend, obviously, you're not going to get it back. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, another question that I've been getting is what components do I have to give? Well, I know in an ideal world, you guys would have liked to just give P1 and let that be the end of it. But sadly, that's not the case. Whatever components you've given in May, June, you have to give both those components. So that means if you've given P1 M1, you have to give P1 M1. If you've given P1 S1, you have to give P1 S1. And even if you've given all four components, you have to reset for all four components. Okay. Because it says, I'm, I'll read their statement. I mentioned this earlier also in the video. So it says students with an assessed mark who wish to reset the same option. So the same options are basically those A, Y, A, X, all that. So whatever option you opted for in May, June, you have to opt for the same option in October, November as well. Okay, another question was, what if I do even worse? Okay, well, in that case, once again, the good news is if you read the statement further, it says that uh, students with an assessed mark who wish to reset the same option in November may do so without charge and can choose which result they take forward. So it's up to you, whichever result you want to take forward, obviously, you'll take the better result forward. That's common sense. But God forbid, if you end up doing worse, then it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You still have your better grade to go forward with. So yeah, that's that's it. I hope I have answered your questions and I hope this video has given you some clarity. In the end, I will just repeat that at this point in time, you should be very calculated with the decisions you make and you got to make sure that you have all the requirements written down, penned down and they're in front of you at all times so that you know exactly what you're aiming for. Yes, the better grades you get, the more opportunities you will unlock. But you know, some universities, if let's say you have decided not to go to the top tier universities, you can still have mediocre grades and get your admission and start university so make sure that you've done your research and you're constantly in the process of doing your research and uh, so that you're not you know asking me or the students around you or your seniors as to whether this is a good grade whether should i opt for a retake it should be clear to you what grades you need in order to move forward so yeah i hope uh, this video gave you some clarity and if you got value out of this video make sure to like it and share it with your friends classmates whoever you think can possibly benefit from it that's it fellas i'll see you guys in the next one take care Bye bye